Okay, so like I said, that's it for on-page SEO. It's just doing those little things to your site um, to help it rank in the search engines, okay? Not a lot to do there, um, but this can be the difference in ranking in the top listings and ranking in the bottom, so don't skip that step, okay? Now, as I said, the second side of SEO is off-page SEO, which is basically the three billion ways to get links. Okay, so maybe I'm exaggerating. I think there's only like two billion. Seriously, there are many, many, many ways to get backlinks, and we'll be covering a ton of those. Um, the first thing I want to do is show you how to get your site ready for backlinking, um, and then we are going to cover 20 different ways to get backlinks. We'll probably cover a whole lot more um, ways to get backlinks too, but we're going to start off with 20 ways to get backlinks. So let's go over what you should do with your website before um, doing any backlinking and then we'll start in on backlinking. Alright so we'll start with dogwalkingriches.com. The first thing we gotta do is what I call fatten this site up some. Um, so as what I did is I installed a blog at dogwalkingriches.com forward slash dogwalkingbusiness um, which is my main keyword here okay that's what you want to name your blog. Now as what I did is I had my web guy um, take my sales letter and he turned it into a WP um, theme for me, a WordPress theme. I installed a WordPress blog. This is all very, very easy to do. Um, my, guy, my guy charges like um, 80 bucks or 100 bucks to do this. I'll put a link to that in your resources document. Um, so if you want him to um, take your sales letter and turn it into a blog for you like he's done for me here, um, you can have that done. Um, just click on that link in your resources section. So once you get your blog all installed, so what you need to do is you need to take those five first keywords that you're going to try and rank for. And each one of those needs to become a category. Then you need to put one post in each category. So like dog walking business, dog walking business, this is the post for it. Then we've got dog walking insurance. Um, I think that is dog walking insurance. Then we've got dog walking jobs. Dog walking jobs. Did I post for it? And as you see, it just says text, 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 text. That's just because I did this just to show you guys. Dog walking services and starting a dog walking business. All of these I have posts for in here. So if we go in here, go into the admin section. This is kind of like the uh, back office for your blog. This is where you make posts and stuff like that. So if we come in here and I go to posts, starting a dog walking business the easy way. Category, starting a dog walking business, tag, starting a dog walking business, dog walking services, same thing, same thing, dog walking jobs, looking for dog walking insurance, and dog walking business. Now this I didn't put a tag on, I need to actually go back in there, and I can do that. So down here where it says tags, dog walking business, and click add, there we go. All I have to do is click update, and that updates that. Now I can go back to posts. Now I have installed some plugins on this blog that are also going to help with traffic um, and with usability. Okay, so let's take a look at a few things that I've done here. I have the recommend button here, so anybody can click here and click recommend, and it'll post um, a link to this post on their Facebook page. There's a backlink, so there's one way to get backlinks. Um, down here I have the whole share also, so they could share this post. Um, either one of these are going to go on Facebook and give you a backlink, okay? So that's one I did here, and let's go to plugins. And I have links to these plugins in your resources document. Um, there's the all-in-one SEO pack, we've already talked about that. Um, auto hyperlink URLs is what it, it will do, is every time you post a URL on your blog, Instead of you having to make it clickable, it'll automatically do it for you. Just a little thing there. That's usability, not traffic. Um, traffic would be the Facebook like button for WordPress. And then I've also got the share on Facebook here. Social profiles widget. These little things right here. Now my web guy, he's going to come in and take those link boxes off of it. Um, but this goes to my RSS feed. We're going to talk about RSS feeds. This allows people to follow me on Twitter, follow me on Facebook, and check out my YouTube videos. Um, is what I recommend if you're doing any type of um, thing where you're selling a product or anything like that, that you use YouTube. 
um, to create videos about your product. We're going to go into that when we get into um, more traffic tactics, but that's why I have a link to all of these here, okay? Just helps me get more traffic, and that's what this is all about. Um, other plugins, subscribe to comments. Anytime someone comes to my blog, and it's going to show me as already logged in here, so let me log out real quick. Log out. Let's go back to the blog. When someone comes to my blog, and if they leave a comment here, they can click notify me of follow-up comments via email. What is this going to do? This is going to keep bringing people back to your blog every time someone replies to um, a comment or post a comment on this post. So if they, if they post their comment here, every time a new comment is made, they're going to get an email that's going to bring them back to your site. That's what you want to do. Now, since I am trying to sell a product here, something else I'm going to do is in this area, all this stuff will be moved down and I'll have like a little free offer here, get my free report and it'll have an opt-in box where they can opt in and I can um, market to them via email. Okay. That's what I'm going to have put here. If, if you don't need to build a list for some reason, then don't worry about an opt-in box. I put an opt-in box on everything. Okay. So go back here to plugins. That one. Okay. Now feed burner. FeedBurner, there's a couple of things that FeedBurner will allow you to do. I'm just going to go to FeedBurner.com here. And you can see the blogs that I have currently on here. I'm going to take my RSS feed, and usually your RSS feed is whatever your blog is, forward slash feed. So we want to take that URL and we're going to put this into FeedBurner. This just allows you to do a couple little traffic things, um, a couple little traffic tactics. It'll get you just a few more visitors. Um, helps with lots of ways, and I'll show you that, okay? So now I'm going to burn a feed right now. Click Next. Dog Walking Riches, that's fine. Feed Address. Okay, so it'll be like feeds.feedburner.com forward slash dog walking riches. I actually want this to be dog walking business and dog walking business. Click next. Okay, so this is already taken, so we will do dog walking business one. See if that's taken. There we go. So click next. And none of this I don't care about, so we'll click next again. And right here, WordPress self hosted. Use this plugin to help redirect your feed traffic through FeedBurner. So instead of having a feed that looks like this, we're going to redirect this to our feed so that it looks like. We'll go, so it looks like this. And why do we want this? Because there's so many things here um, that we can use to get more traffic. Like if people bookmark our site, that gives us a link back to our blog, which gives more link juice to our sales page, which is going to boost our sales page up in the search engines. Now I'm going to go in here first though, and where it says, I don't know if it's optimize or publicize, I believe it is publicize and we're going to do email subscriptions click activate there we are now it should be when we refresh this let's see here maybe not it might take a second here so let's see um, is a widget subscription management communication preferences and it might take it a second to actually um, and change the email here if you want that's fine I'm just gonna leave it as is might take it just a second to um, pick up this activation I did here delivery options what time of day do you want it to be delivered so every time you make a post to your blog and somebody comes and puts their email address in here, FeedBurner will automatically send them a message that says, hey, there's a new post on dog walking riches. 
So I want mine to go out between 5 and 7 p.m. Set this to Eastern Time. And we're going to click Save. There we go. Now there's a couple of other little things in here that you can do. Um, I, I just do these few little things here, okay? So we'll do, go back to FeedBurner.com. FeedBurner.com. And it should now show our feed. Dog walking business, there it is. Your feed is so new, we're still playing with the bubble wrap. <laughs> okay, so let's check out um, our feed now. And it's still not showing where it can get email. Like I said, that might take a little bit um, to subscribers. Just make sure we actually did this. So publicize. Email subscriptions. Okay, that's that's been activated. I'm not sure why it's not showing yet. This service is active, okay. Yeah, it just might take a little bit to um, propagate, which means update itself. So we'll give it a little while. Um, but somewhere in this area, there will also be a place where they can just click and put their email address in, and they will be able to subscribe via email. And FeedBurner will automatically, each time you make a post, um, they they will be notified and then they will send an email to anyone who has subscribed here So that's going to get more people back to your blog more traffic. Okay So this little plugin that we have here if we go here to feed burner plugin We do visit plugin site. You can see what a plugin does um, Just by going to the plugin site So here we go first go to feed burner and burn your feed then go to the plugin configuration by clicking the plugins menu and then click feed burner plugin Okay we actually need to go back here. We'll open it in a new window. Okay, so we got plugins, feed burner configuration. That's going to log in again. Redirect my feeds here. Put your feed burner URL in there, okay? That's not that one. That would be this. Um, the comments I'm not going to worry about. Do not redirect category tag feeds. The pin category. Do not re redirect search results feed. I'm just going to leave all that because it's a brand new blog. So now it's configured. It should now Let's see if it makes a liar out of me again. We go to our blog and we put in our real RSS feed. And like I said, it's probably going to take just a little bit to. Um, catch up here. Yeah, it's just going to take a little bit to catch up and propagate there, but it will automatically redirect to this when people go to your RSS feed. So now I'm going to take this and something else on the blog here. You know, I showed you these little icons. That is go back to plugins that is that social widgets plugin social profiles widget if you go here and you go to widgets you can drag it from over here social profiles I have it right here and I'm gonna change my RSS feed URL to my feed burner one so stick that in there there's my Twitter URL Facebook YouTube, as you can see, there's tons of different ones you can do here. I just did those. There's a couple of different ones that you can pick, like Sketch. I'm going to leave it small. Click Save. You'll be able to see the changes here. Yeah, there's the changes. See, now they just look like sketched ones. I'm going to leave those like that because I like that. Let's get rid of some of this stuff here. So, just to recap here. So, what I did is I created a blog, dogwalkingriches.com forward slash dogwalkingbusiness created categories for my fi first five keywords and then I made a post in each of these categories. Now, let's talk about post. Each post needs to be optimized for the keyword. Um, so like this one, starting a dog walking business the easy way. I'm going to have an article written, of, you know, 
350 to 500 word article written about starting a dog walking business the easy way. And that's where I'll put this post. Throughout that article, make sure that your keyword phrase, like mine is starting a dog walking business, is in the article throughout it. Just sprinkled throughout. And that each time this phrase appears, it links back to your sales page. So when I click on this, Oh, and I didn't even do that one right. I need to go in and change that. Glad I saw that. Let's go to posts. I left the G out, and I did it on all of them because I just copied and pasted. Let's go through all of these. Let's click update. All right, dogwalkingriches.com. There we go. And it automatically goes back to dogwalkingriches.com here, okay? This is getting a backlink to your site. So there's one way um, to use a blog to get traffic, is you can use it as a source to get backlinks. Yes, it's on your domain name, and those backlinks aren't going to mean much, but it's still backlinks to your site, okay? Let's go back to our blog here. And I did this for each one of my keywords, those first five keyword phrases, because these are the first five we want to rank for. Uh, if you look here, dog walking services. Click on it, goes to the sales page. It's in the title, and it's throughout the text here, okay? These are called, these are hyperlinked um, keyword phrases. If you want to rank for dog walking services, the more links that you get all over the web for the term dog walking services linked to your site, the higher you're going to rank in the search engines, okay? Now we're also going to get backlinks to these posts also. But we'll talk about that in another lesson. So this is all you need to do to get started. Um, if you have like a sales page or a squeeze page or something, something like that, then you'll definitely want to install a blog in the folder of, of your keyword phrase. And then on your sales page at the very bottom, you need to hyperlink that blog using your keyword phrase to this. So when search engines come here now, they're going to follow this and they're going to see all the, because each of these posts acts like a page on your site. So it's going to fatten your site up and it's going to make it a lot easier for your site to rank in the search, en search engines. I call this the internal article directory strategy. All these articles are your articles. <clears throat> they're all about the topic of your product. And it's kind of just like a little directory here of information that's totally related to your topic, like mine is, you know, starting a dog walking business. So all of these posts that I ever make on this blog are going to be related to this keyword phrase. Once I'm ranking for these five, I'll go back, pick five more keywords, make categories here, make at least one post in each category. And you also want to make sure that you're adding content, um, you know, here and there. Let's say, you know, you only post um, one new article a week. Um, if you outsource that, you have it written, articles, you can get articles written for five bucks a piece. So five times four, if there's four weeks in a month, that's 20 bucks. So 20 bucks a month, you could keep this site just building and building and building, getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And Google's going to love you more and more and more, put you to the top of the search engines. You're going to get that traffic and you're going to make money. Okay. So that's what I do to get ready for, um, start to, to start getting ready to get backlinks to my sales pages and squeeze pages. Now let's talk about the newagehippie.com blog and my strategy there. Okay, here we are over at the newagehippie.com. Um, this blog I'm having to do a couple of different things with um, because I'm using it as an entire website. So I didn't want a bunch of, of uh, categories all lining the top of this thing. I just want a couple of different ones. And these aren't even the keywords that I'm... I'm targeting. These are things that are going to be on the blog. Um, internet income is a keyword that I'm targeting. That just happened to be so, but internet lifestyle, that's actually one too. Um, but internet lifestyle products, the lifestyle coach, those two are not. So what I did is I went ahead and created those categories, but I, I have a plugin that will allow me to not show them on the front page. Now that doesn't do a lot for your search engine optimization. So I went down to the bottom and created a little widget and put all of my categories down here. Now is what I had to do to do that. If we go here to appearance and we do widgets. With this theme that I'm using, there's a footer three here and I just took the text 
module, put it over here, and manually put in um, the links to the categories, like the newhippie.com forward slash category forward slash internet hyphen income hyphen opportunities is linked to internet income opportunities. Just like it does with um, when you have like regular categories on your blog, like I have up here, but I just didn't want all of these categories um, at the top because you imagine we're going to have a bunch of them <laughs> pretty soon. Right now, I just have five. You only see four here because up here is internet income and I actually want that one at the top because that's something this blog focuses on. I did that for um, an aesthetic, um, aesthetic, aesthetic point of view just because of looks, okay? So if we go now, I'm going to click close this. I have done what I did with the other blog, created a post for each keyword phrase I'm trying to um, compete for. So we've got instant internet income, internet income opportunity, create multiple streams of internet income, and internet income opportunities. Okay, see here they are, internet income, instant internet income, internet opportunity, multiple streams of internet income, internet income opportunities and as I said internet income is up here at the top so basically I've already done all the search engine optimization um, using the all-in-one SEO plugin if we go here to plugins I also have uploaded all the other plugins I put on my other blog I basically use the same um, uh, plugins one thing I did do though is this RYO category visibility that's that plugin I told you that um, you can select which plugins do and do not um, show on your on your front page like this I want the post I want the posts that are in these categories to show on my front page but in my list of categories which mine are at the top of the page different um, themes will have them in different places I didn't want all of those categories showing so as you see I just have it here where it says like the lifestyle coach the new age hippie list those um, internet lifestyle products internet lifestyle list that and internet income it's fine to list those but I don't want um, all these other ones up here in this list too, okay? Um, so that's all there is to um, doing search engine optimization for this blog. It's just like the other blog, except it's linking to itself. Like all these um, hyperlinked links are linking to the newagehippie.com because this is actually a page on my site, and this page actually links back to the domain name, which is the newagehippie.com, which we want to come up in Google than in the number one position for instant internet income, okay? All right, so the next thing we're going to start doing then is we are going to um, show actual ways that you can get backlinks. We've now done all the setup. We've set up our whatever site it is that you're going to be using. We've got our blog. We've made our sites either fatter or we've created a blog where we're doing blogs. And we've put some posts on there, of course, that content needs to be related to your keywords. Um, and we have optimized everything on this blog. We've done everything we need to do now. Now we need to start doing um, big time backlinking campaigns um, and big time you know, ways of getting backlinks. And that's what we're going to do throughout um, the remainder.